Hello and welcome to another iX Search Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a category and taxonomy term filters to be displayed on the front end of the search. So first of all you need to open the search settings which I already did. Uh, I created a new search instance with the default options as you can see uh, there is nothing nothing has been touched here uh, everything is brand new so the first thing you need to do is to navigate to the front end search settings and categories and taxonomy terms options panel uh, this has been changed in the recent version, it was a little bit different, uh, whereas categories and taxonomy terms were a separate option, but uh, I actually improved this panel to make it more intuitive, and therefore I'm making this video to help you uh, creating the filters you need. So before we start, let me change one option so I don't have to click all the time I'm refreshing these uh, to show you the changes uh, which I'm going to do on the general um, switch it to visible and the block position which is going to look like this so it's it's a little bit different uh, but it shows everything and also let me hide all of these options so like there's nothing else Okay, so let's create a taxonomy term filter. Uh, first of all, you will need to select a taxonomy here you want to use. Uh, I'm going to use the real estate location uh, taxonomy terms, but of course you can select any other one. Okay, let's say I want to use uh, three uh, parent categories, Australia, Europe and USA. So I drag these items into the right hand side of the list. If I refresh my preview, these uh, three items will pop up nicely. Uh, this usage is, uh, is an inclusive usage as I tend to call it because you only select the items you want to use. But what if you want to use all the items except uh, some of the items? Uh, in that case you will have to use the use all from real estate location option which clears out uh, the list uh, and uh, adds this one instead whereas i refresh all of the options are here but what if i don't want to display the usa and its subcategories then i click the show more options button hit you to search for because I know USA USA Los Angeles New York there I can see that all three are excluded now now if I hit refresh then USA and its subcategories are no longer visible on the list so you can either use some of the uh, terms or all of the terms except some of the terms. Uh, this is especially good when, uh, when you know you are going to add more and more and more uh, taxonomy terms and for example if I was to add more cities or more continents uh, and I want to only exclude some of them and display the new ones then this option is what I need if I know I only want to use certain ones then I use the other solution and I just select them okay so let's say I want to display uh, some other taxonomy terms as well for example both categories then I just simply uh, either again select the ones I want to display or use all. I'm just going to use all. Bam! Uh, real estate locations and categories are both displayed at the same time. Uh, on the show up, uh, more options list I, again I can uh, exclude some of the categories but I but we already know that and also I can change the order if I want to display the categories first there. Uh, 
Also, I can mix up uh, all of that. Oh, sorry, I excluded the wrong one. So, also I can mix up by displaying some of this and all of that. There it is. And also the state uh, of these checkboxes can be adjusted by clicking on the checkboxes here. See? Okay. So this is the very basic usage uh, of the selector. Of course, you can select more and more and more and keep adding them uh, until you get a really big list uh, of taxonomy terms. Uh, but there is also uh, different uh, display modes for these uh, taxonomy terms, which you can change by clicking on the change display mode option. So a scrollable thing uh, going to pop up and uh, there's going to be a tiny window for all uh, the taxonomy, taxonomies you have and you can change certain aspects uh, the first very first option is separate filter boxes by taxonomy what happens if I unclick that? what happens is that all of these items are going to show up in this one single box because I don't want separate boxes per taxonomy so they are not divided by taxonomies anymore they just show up as one big list some of you might find this useful some of you might not uh, it depends and also you can change uh, this box header filter by terms so it's this you can change and this is more important the, the display mode from checkboxes to drop down on radio and even select the default state. So, what if I want to display this uh, instead of checkboxes as a drop down and highlight the first item? Will it work? Of course, it will. So, as you can see, it's now a drop down. And if I change back the separate filter boxes by uh, taxonomy, this will all go back to checkboxes because I have to configure this differently. Okay, so so let's go back to this uh, for a moment uh, where I can choose uh, this, choose any, or choose one or any option. What is this? So let us enable that and let me write in this text so what it does is give you choose any option or a text you define to the top of the list which acts uh, as a as a select all option because uh, it basically neglects this filter so when the user uh, types in something this filter is not considered if this option is selected. It's, it's a good thing to have if you want to like like select one, display one or something uh, to choose from the box. And also you can change it to radio radio button layout which is essentially the same. You can select either one of them. Okay, so the main difference between uh, using the separate filter boxes and not using them is that you can adjust uh, these properties per filter box. So, for example, if I want uh, a drop down layout for the real estate locations, and you can basically type in anything as the first item text here, and as a radio with the first item highlighted for the categories. Bam. So there it is. Uh, that's, the, that's the main difference. And uh, this is basically all you can do with this option. Uh, you can use multiple taxonomy terms in, at once. Uh, you can use them in, in one filter box. You can use them in separate filter boxes. Uh, there's also uh, 
two more options uh, the maintain term hierarchy and default term order uh, these apply uh, when you have uh, for example the term hierarchy only applies when you have uh, checkbox layout selected for example I choose this as checkboxes and as you can see there is a hierarchy between these items and and this hierarchy is kept as it is so if I turn off this option there is no longer a hierarchy present in some cases this is useful uh, but I personally don't really change this uh, the default term order uh, this one only applies uh, when you use uh, the use all option because here you can change uh, the order to something different for example like that or like that as you can see the order changes manually but for the real estate location uh, there is no ordering option here so uh, it follows the default term order which is by name ascending as you can see I can change that descending and that's that it's, it's reversed so this is basically all you need to do about uh, category and term filters and I hope you find everything uh, you want I hope you can achieve everything you want with this uh, I really put a lot of effort designing these options if you have suggestions uh, how to improve or how would you change them let me know in the comments or let me know in the support forums if you already purchased the plugin uh, thank you very much and have a nice day